Okay, welcome to part 8 of my complete file upload site tutorial series. And uh, in the last video, what we did is we touched up our uh, username and password boxes right here with some JavaScript. And so we made it dynamically change whenever you click in or out of it. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually get started on the login process. Now, uh, we're going to be using uh, PHP my admin, so we're going to need a single MySQL database, and we are going to need a single table for our uh, database. And the table is going to store all of the user information. Now, eventually later, we might end up, uh, well, we will later create uh, a couple more different, a couple more tables to store some other information about the various things of the website including uh, all the information on the files that people will be able to upload. Uh, so I'm just going to create a new database and I'm just going to call it upload site. <coughs> and once it's created I'm just going to create a actually I'm go to my desktop I'm going to open up notepad plus plus and uh, the next page for the site and in here I'm going to make a list of the various things we're going to need in our database so we're going to need an ID a username uh, email password and the passwords that we store are going to be MD5 encrypted uh, using the MD5 uh, encryption function uh, built into PHP uh, there is also an a SHA1 encryption function that's built in new PHP. Um, it's very handy uh, for encrypting passwords, but MD5 is, is a lot stronger than SHA1. Uh, so we're going to need ID, username, email, password, a date, the date that the user has registered, um, activated, and this is just going to store a value of whether or not the user is activated or how about just active active we'll just say active uh, signifying whether the user is active or not um, and then we're also going to need a code value that we will eventually once we get to our registration process users will have will have to uh, verify their email uh, by we sending out an uh, an email using some PHP, and uh, they will have to confirm the email. Um, uh, I suppose that's good for now. Uh, so we need seven fields. So I'm just going to call this users and create seven fields. And so we're just going to fill in these values: ID, username email password active code and actually I'm gonna change this to key um, so we'll have that as key um, and date uh, yeah so our ID we're gonna set to a big int now if you're creating this using a live server or you intend to upload this to a server uh, you want to set your ID to a big int now what's gonna happen is every time a user is inserted into our database this ID value is automatically gonna increase by one uh, so we're gonna set it to an auto increment and we're gonna set it as a primary key primary index um, so our ID is automatically gonna increment up one every time a user is registered so it'll signify um, the uh, number of users and also it's a very it's a unique value to each user so every user will have a different ID which we might end up using for something uh, we will set the username to 50 characters as a varchar now varchar stands for variable character and essentially that's just any uh, any character set that you can press on your keyboard uh, and it can be a maximum of 50 characters of length we will set the email as a varchar and set it to about 
say 200. Uh, you might want to set that to 250 because some people just have extensively long emails for some reason, which I think is kind of pointless. Uh, so password we will set to a var char of 35. Uh, and now the reason being is because of uh, MD5 encryption hashes, they are all 32 characters. Uh, so if you take any value, you encrypt it with the M with an uh, as an MD5 hash. Uh, it's 32 characters in length. Now I'm just going to set this as 35 because it's a it's a more rounded number, I suppose. Our active, which we are going to set to a bool or boolean, uh, as it's actually called, and a boolean value stands for either true or false, zero or one. Uh, so the user is either going to be active or they're not going to be active and if they're active it'll be a one and if they're not active this value will be a zero <coughs> our key we will set to a varchar of 25 characters now this is just going to be a random value that we generate every time uh, the user use a user is uh, registered uh, we'll do that with a PHP script and our date will set to a varchar of, I'm going to say, 30. And how I'm going to have this date is it's going to be in the month, day, year format. Uh, but we're not going to use complete numbers. We're going to be using the uh, letters to spell out the month. Like March, it'll say March, M-A-R-C-H. So we're going to have it like that. And then it'll have the day, so 01, 02, 10, and then comma, and the year, which is 2010 currently. Uh, so that's it. That's the database. And uh, we are going to insert a value, and this is just going to be a username for testing purposes until, to test the login process uh, until we get the registration process set up. So the username... I'm going to say basic nick. Email basic.nick at gmail.com. Now, the password, I'm simply just going to set this password now. Uh, and I did say we are going to MD5 encrypt this, but uh, I will generate this password momentarily. So, yeah. Uh, the active, I am going to set this to 1 for now, and I will change this to 0 later to signify that uh, it can, in fact, be, uh, we can make it so people aren't allowed in if they are not a current active user. So that's uh, very handy. Um, and the key, I'm just going to put in some random numbers, something like that. Uh, so one, two, three. Okay, uh, because we did set this as a varchar of 25, uh, so this is 25 characters long. And the date, I'm just going to put as the current date, which is, what is the current date? It is, I don't know, I'll just leave that blank for now, and we'll come back in and fill that in later. Or I'll just put April 5th. 2010. So this is the current date at the time of filming this video. Uh, it's April 5th, 2010. And this is the format we're going to have the date set in for the users. Uh, so it's going to have the month and then the day. And then actually we're going to have it be 05. And then comma, space, the year. And I'm going to click go. <clears throat> so if we click on browse, you can see that we have all this information inserted into our database uh, which is exactly what we want so I'm gonna stop this video here uh, in the next video we will continue on with uh, creating our login process we will actually get started on the login script and page and form and everything so check out uh, part 9 of the series <laughs>